The Story of King Jehoahaz, King's Quest for Redemption. The story of King Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, can be found in the Bible in the Book of Two Kings, specifically in Chapter 13. This chapter provides an account of Jehoahaz's reign, including his struggles with foreign powers and his efforts to restore the worship of Yahweh in Israel. In the ancient kingdom of Israel, King Jehoahaz ascended to the throne after his father's death, inheriting a kingdom that was plagued by instability and conflict. From an early age, Jehoahaz had witnessed the strong and decisive rule of his father, who had purged Israel of the corrupt worship of foreign gods. Jehu's reign had been marked by both triumph and bloodshed, as he fulfilled God's command to destroy the wicked descendants of Ahab and Jezebel. However, as Jehoahaz assumed the throne, he found himself burdened with the weight of ruling a troubled kingdom. The influence of idolatry and foreign worship practices had seeped back into the land, and corruption had become rampant. The people of Israel had strayed from the true worship of Yahweh, the one and only God. Knowing the importance of his role as king and the responsibility that came with it, Jehoahaz sought the guidance and wisdom of the Lord. He recognized the dire consequences of his father's failure to completely eradicate idolatry, and he desired to rectify this spiritual decline. In his fervent prayers to God, Jehoahaz pleaded for forgiveness and deliverance for his people, acknowledging their waywardness and his own shortcomings. He called upon Yahweh, asking for strength and guidance to lead Israel back to the ways of their forefathers, to restore righteousness, justice, and faithfulness. Moved by Jehoahaz's plea, God saw the king's humble heart and granted him mercy. Despite the difficult circumstances, God promised to be their help and salvation if they would wholeheartedly return to him. Encouraged by this divine assurance, Jehoahaz embarked on a quest to lead the nation of Israel back onto the righteous path. He began by commanding the destruction of all foreign idols and temples, ensuring that the worship of Yahweh alone was reinstated in every corner of the kingdom. Jehoahaz initiated religious reforms, calling for the priests and levites to renew their commitment to God's law and to teach the people with zeal and dedication. As news of Jehoahaz's reforms spread throughout the land, hope began to arise among the oppressed Israelites. They saw in their king a leader who genuinely cared for their spiritual well-being and was committed to restoring the glory of their once great nation. However, the path to righteousness was not without obstacles. The neighboring territories had taken advantage of Israel's weakness and oppressed them. Jehoahaz confronted these foreign powers with courage and faith, calling upon the Lord to deliver his people from their oppressors. Though outnumbered and facing seemingly insurmountable odds, Jehoahaz never faltered in his trust in Yahweh. He led his army fearlessly and inspired his soldiers with his unwavering conviction. God heard his cries, and through miraculous interventions, Israel scored several remarkable victories against their enemies. Under Jehoahaz's leadership and his dedication to the restoration of true worship, Israel experienced a time of spiritual resurgence and prosperity. However, the king's reign was eventually cut short, spanning only 17 years. At the end of his life, Jehoahaz passed away leaving behind a legacy of faith and devotion to God. Although his reign may have been comparatively brief, Jehoahaz's impact on the kingdom of Israel was immeasurable. He is remembered as a king who sought the Lord, brought about religious reforms, and fought valiantly for the freedom and spiritual revival of his people. His story serves as a reminder of the enduring power of faith, and the transformative influence a dedicated leader can have on a nation.